Operation Braids May, Article Breakdown 1, Braids May the Stalker. Yo, yo, when it comes to static, I'm giving motherfuckers ass kicks tragic. Silence, a magnet to havoc, the streets timing. Bring pain and panic, coming with it, I'm with it. Your life to me, it don't matter, gun clapper niggas don't mean shit. I rep raw. Hello guys and girls, now I was going to create a full Braids May expose, but I feel breaking down his articles and showing you the craziness that is. Braids may bit by bit would be more interesting and have more of an impact. And we'll build up to the bigger picture that is Braids May, and we'll look closer at Braids May's life, connections, and history over the course of articles. And I must warn you, it's not a very nice one. But before we do that, I want to show you how much of a liar Braids May has been. This man has told us he owns many properties, but the man isn't very good at editing his Instagram stories, and I noticed this recently. As you can see, Braids May is sleeping in someone's kitchen, I'm guessing hiding because Big Bob wanted a fair fight like Braids has said everyone should do if they have an issue but hasn't and won't meet anyone for a fair fight. From pulled penis, to shadow todger, to big slob, fanny pissy, to even Decca Schmeggy. He's pulled out of them all, only to look a complete fool on the BKFC by gassing out due to a lack of training, and has since dumbassed his way out of any contract again with them, and not fought one person in any fair fight he's called for, but has fought a few random people in lower events, but once told us all in a podcast that he fought in front of a stadium of 15,000 people, but nowhere is any footage of a 15,000 audience stadium fight. Nevertheless, he still got in the ring A attempted to fight, and that's more more than many, and the respect for that must be given. But you do look like you're the guy who used to sail Dougie's cousin the kebab. But let's get back to the article of Braids May. The article goes as follows. Man in court after a woman was harassed and threatened with violence. See, I told you it wasn't a good one already, but this is only Article 1. We don't want to go straight in at the deep end with Braids May. But here we go. A suspect has appeared in court after a woman was harassed and threatened with violence. Detectives investigated a number of incidents reported by the victim in Harworth between 14 and the 20th of March, 2023. A number of incidents, guys. The harassment included incidents at the woman's home and a number of messages making threats. Braids May, aged 32, of no fixed abode. Again, no fixed abode, thought you had many houses, Braids May. And if you do, why are you always staying in hotels? But we carry on. He has been charged with stalking involving fear of violence and intimidating a witness. There you have it, guys. Braids May is a stalker. Legit confirmed stalker. Here's Braids arriving at one woman's house he was harassing. Brett May at my door, Muppet. Brett May at my door, Muppet. I digress. He appeared at Nottingham Magistrates Court on Wednesday, the 29th of March, and was remanded in custody until his next appearance at Nottingham Crown Court on the 26th of April, 2023. Detective Sergeant Jackie Price of the Nottinghamshire Police said, We are working closely with the woman and her family to provide support and conduct a thorough investigation into these traumatic incidents. The force takes all reports of this nature extremely seriously, and I am pleased we have now placed this suspect before the courts. And this was in March of 2023. It's only February of 2024, guys. This was a matter of months ago. But again, this is nothing compared to the articles coming up in Operation Braids May. But while I'm here, Braids, you recently said this. I'm watching a lot there uh, earlier on. On uh, Vladimir Putin. Oh, what a ruthless guy he is. Some dude. And the only real guy who was our prime minister at the time, to really, who we really kind of respected, I thought was David Cameron. And obviously, we went and watched the judo show together and what have you, and David Cameron moved into the judo fight off. But, I was abrupt with him, to be fair with you. And all this talk about nuclear war, nuclear weapons, absolutely madness. Like, uh, the guy with poison turned up on British soil and said, I want to report a murder. And he said, on who? He said, on myself. So Putin's killed me, poisoned me. And then, obviously, with uh, the head of the Wagner group, <laughs> do you know what I mean, when he... Uh, 
take your best man and your people with you won't play but to Belarus and all of a sudden it was exposed it was a bomb in the wine crate and killed him yeah he's a, that, that Putin is a ruthless guy if anyone had pressed the button on you he'd be the one to do it well, Braids, Ukraine can never join NATO due to a treaty made in 1992 to break up the Soviet Union. And NATO agreed not to expand to Russia's borders. And NATO has multiple times. And during COVID, Ukraine built bioweapons laboratories on the border of Ukraine and Russia that were funded by America and NATO. And Russia said no way and invaded Ukraine. The narrative that Russia is invading to prevent Ukraine joining NATO is rubbish, as Ukraine can never join, and Russia knows this, or it'll bring back the Soviet Union. If Scotland won independence and then America put bio labs on the border of Scotland and England, do you think England would just do nothing? It's called a proxy war between NATO and Russia using Ukraine as disguise, but then Ukraine follows Nazi ideology to extreme levels. You said this also. But yeah, we've um, seen it where lads have gone out to Ukraine to help the Ukrainians fight. Look at the boxing there, Klitschko. Lomachenko. Um, I don't know if you six ever got involved with the military or not. You know what I mean? But I know Lomachenko, Klitschko. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's madness, isn't it? Well, here's a picture of Usyk. Do you see the badge? Now look, it's from the SS Gallen badge, the Nazi police. Stick to mentioning the boats, history and politics are not your thing. Videos have been posted on social media said to show black people being prevented from boarding a train and left stranded at a railway station in Lviv as Ukrainians were allowed on. Others said they were turned back from the border and were even being shot at. Like this video, Indian students claim Ukrainian guards on the Polish border beat them up and didn't allow them to cross. Tens of thousands of international students have been stuck in Ukraine since the war started. And for anyone who was trying to work out what movie this song is from, I have one more clue for you.